Today we are working on a Honda Civic with a 2.0 liter. This will cover from 2002 to 2011. First thing I do is take this cover off. There's two 10 millimeter bolts here that hold it in. So that just pops off. I already took those out. <clears throat> Place that aside. And then there's four 10 millimeter bolts that hold this cover on here. And that's where your spark plugs sit. This is a throttle cable. There's a 10 millimeter bolt that sits in here as well. This is what it looks like. I just moved it, <clears throat> disconnected that, got the bolt out of the way so I can move the wire, make access to, uh, to spark plugs. Take that cover, get that out of the way. All right, here you, go. you have your four coil packs. The co coil pack, coil packs are where the spark plug sits. So uh, this is a pretty basic standard Honda stuff here. You just have the uh, connector here. Right here on this side, there's a push pin. You just push that in. And it releases the connector from the coil pack from the coil pack. So just get all those out of the way. And then right here you have 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, right here, these two stems are what holds the upper black cover on. It looks like you just need to get a, a deep 10 millimeter, get that out. I'll get those out of the way and then we'll uh, pull the spark plugs. <laughs> After you take out all the packs, take a look at the end. These all seem to be clear, but if you see oil down at the bottom, then there, you have a, possibly an oil leak in the valve cover. Um, but these are all good. There's no oil on any of them that I can tell. They, seem, they, look, they all look in really good shape. Not bad for 90,000 miles. All right, I got this. Uh, it's a 5 8 uh, socket you need, but I got this. This is actually permanently connected to this extension. I picked this up from AutoZone. Go ahead and start getting all the spark plugs out. It's best to do this on a cold engine. I'm just gonna do it by hand and just start working them out. Doesn't look too bad, it's a little worn. There's no oil on it, so that's a good sign. The cylinders seem to be good. Misfire issue or blown head gasket, this thing will be covered in fluid. Here's the new NGK spark plugs. As you can as you can see, the tip right there is uh, in a lot better shape than old ones. Uh, the old ones were not bad at all. It just looked like you know common wear and tear after 90,000 miles. But these are new uh, NG NGK platinums. I'm sorry, they're iridiums, right? Yeah, I think they're NGK iridiums. Yep. Pack of four from O'Reilly, about 10 bucks each. Now, how do I get these in? I get I use a three eighths piece of hosing. It's about, I don't know what, five, four and a half inches long. And I'll go ahead and I'll stick uh, the new spark plug down, the ceramics part down, and then start. Once that's down in the hole, I'll start the spark plug that way because you really don't want to start these. Um, I've seen guys at the dealership starting with air ratchet and yeah, they got it right, probably because they've been doing it for so long, but you run the risk of cross-threading cross these things down inside the block. Just, uh, you know, the added level of protection. Go ahead, cover the threads and uh, some anti-seize, anti-seize right there. Always coat uh, the threads of your spark plugs with anti-seize before installing them. And then once you get this down in here, you can actually feel when it grabs hold. And then once they're all started, I'll go ahead and finish them all up with, uh, with the extension and the 5 8 5 8 socket. So that one's done. So I'll just go ahead and go through all of them and install them, install them this way. <clears throat> they're all they're all started and in place to tighten these things down. You just want to um, Basically, you're gonna feel uh, When it gets tight and you're about a quarter turn after that you don't want to torque these things down too much There are torque specs for these but <clears throat> this I've always done it. It's always worked for me So you're gonna feel when the, um, there's a crush washer on there. You're gonna feel when it crushes and go just a quarter turn past that Okay All right, just crushed. That one's done. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do to tighten these things down. Like I said, you do not want to over torque these things because you're putting it into an aluminum block. You can strip these out. Before I put the packs back down, I'm gonna put some dielectric grease on the ends. Just helps uh, with the conduction of electricity between the pack and the, and the spark plug. As you can see, this one, this can got busted. So I just gotta stick my finger down there and uh, dig it out. Otherwise, it looks like a cheese, uh, cheese whiz bottle. 
So all you gotta do is take it, just put a little bit right inside there and you're done. Okay, those are all back in place. Now go ahead and put your 10 millimeter bolts back in. Let's go ahead and start all those by hand and run them down. Okay, and go ahead and reconnect all the connectors to the packs, to the coil pack. Just double check and hear a click. Just push on the, on, on the connector to make sure they're in place. All right, and then you have to put this cover back on, put this bolt back on, and put this cover on, but um, I actually want him to fire it up, so go ahead and fire it up, Chuck. It's a good time to fire it up before you uh, put the covers back on, just to make sure everything's good to go and that you have no misfires. Make sure you don't have a check engine light on. If you guys like my videos, please subscribe, make a comment, question, concern. 